walk us through the process of like when it came to you like yeah you know what i'm gonna wear a dress on snl well um i'm a huge kurt cobain fan my fans know this about me um and i've always wanted to wear a dress ever since i saw kurt wearing this dress back in the day at one of his shows in the 80s and i was always like man one day i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do that you know and this was like years ago right so snl comes my way so I immediately thought like, ooh, this would be the perfect opportunity to wear a dress. Kind of looking at all these different stores, like looking at dresses and I was just like, oh, this is cute, this is cute. <laughs> Whoa, bitch, I'ma throw it all, all the strippers love me. Whoa, walking best dress, but I ain't no kid cutty. <laughs> yo, YG is a fool for that song, yo. But all right, all right, enough is enough, man. When all these dudes want to play girly and wear fingernail polish and wear dresses, they blame it on being a rock star. Nah, that's not gonna fly anymore. Y'all like what you like and just need a scapegoat to act fruity about it. Come on, now. But who are some artists that said yes to the dress? <laughs> Kid Cudi. When y'all decide to wear y'all little dresses, be prepared for what comes with it. And Kid Cudi recently just went off on a troll that accused him of going through a humiliation ritual for wearing the dress. Cuddy went off on the troll by calling him stupid, telling fans to gargle his mayo, and says that why can't black men express themselves and be confident about it? Well sir, if you're so confident about it, why are you flipping out? In 2021, when Cuddy was performing on SNL, he wore a beautiful maxi dress, and he said it was a tribute to Kurt Cobain, who also wore a similar dress that he was trying to copy. But the thing is, Cuddy's excuse for wearing a dress doesn't match. He said it was a tribute and expression, but expression of what exactly? When Kurt Cobain wore his dress in 1991 on MTV, he was later asked why he wore it, and he said, I like to wear dresses because they're comfortable. There's nothing more comfortable than that crazy flower pattern. And the thing is, Kurt Cobain has worn dresses on many occasions, even indulging into women's fashion. Cobain had expressed that he was more in tune with his feminine side growing up. He said he also experimented with makeup and also wore women's underwear. He even wore lingerie to an important meeting with music executive David Geffen. It was believed that Cobain was bisexual as he French kissed his own bandmate on SNL and it actually looked more like a three-way kiss. Lord Jesus. So back to Kid Cudi and his tribute of self-expression through the art form of Kurt Cobain. Is Cuddy trying to say something else? I'm just saying. And this ain't the only time he's worn a dress. He's also worn a whole wedding dress at a fashion awards show. Hey man, just do you and be proud of the man you are and stop using Kurt Cobain as an excuse. Be free, man, be free. Young thugger, I put on my brothers, I put on my bitch, had to wear the dress, cause I had the stick. <laughs> Once again, another lie as to why to wear a dress. Thug did not have to wear a dress to hide a gun. It was just his preference. In the early days of his career, up to about 2017-ish, Young Thug made it his business to wear a dress. His first real appearance of wearing a dress was the cheetah print dress. But there are other photos of Young Thug being zesty, wearing a two-piece skirt and wearing lipstick. So, oh no, <laughs> he's been like this. With the cheetah print dress, he said he first wore it because he was looking for a long sleeve cheetah print shirt and couldn't find one. So he saw some type of cheetah looking fabric and said, let me get that one. <laughs> and that's how he started wearing dresses. And since then, he has worn dresses several times. One of the most famous dress moments was his Jeffrey album when he wore a beautiful Alessandro Tricon dress. But since then, he has calmed down and stopped wearing dresses. I know most people are saying he only wore the dresses for attention, but I don't think so. I think it's deeper than that. In the Big Boy Neighborhood interview in 2019, Young Thug says that he no longer wears dresses, wears lipstick, or paints his fingernails. And he said it was because his son wanted to be just like his daddy and paint his fingernails too. And that's when he realized his influence was doing wrong. No, Do you, are, are you open with, with your kids yes. about past and everything? Yes. 
my son, I, nigga, I used to, I'm like a rock star. I used to wear nail polish. My, I had to stop wearing it because of my son. Why? Because he wanted to have nail polish, and, and his mom was like, "Man, you can't wear nail. You can't wear nail polish." He's like, "My daddy did it." Mm. So he really wanted to wanted to do it. That, yeah. that slowed my career down a lot. Damn. My, I had to step out of the rock star image, but it's like I didn't explain every single thing to him. He understand. But what about, okay, you pulled your kids out. What about our kids <laughs> that you still got in there that's wearing all this damn polish? You know, uh, uh, what suppose. about our kids that want to be you? But I, I stopped doing it. Yeah. So if you want to be me, you're going to stop doing it. Okay. Because right. <laughs> I stopped. Makes sense. I really stopped. Just watch. Makes sense. He also said in another interview how he feels wearing a dress slowed down his career. But at least he had some type of awakening to stop. ASAP Rocky. This guy is another serial offender when it comes to wearing dresses. Him and Rihanna are about the same size, so that's gonna be very awkward when he tries to wear one of hers by accident. But at this point, <laughs> I'm sure he don't care. ASAP was first publicly seen wearing what looked to be like a dress on MTV. And it does look like a dress but he said it was an oversized t-shirt and said that it was foul for people accusing him of wearing a dress and said that people should wear what they want. That definitely does not look like a big shirt to me, but hey, maybe my eyes are tripping. He also wore a kilt several times and said that double standards for fashion shouldn't exist. And if his girl can wear his clothes, why can't he? And he made it very clear that when he shops, he goes to the women's section because he knows no other guy will have them. <laughs> That's the best excuse you got? <laughs> Come on, dog. Come on. And at the Met Gala, he had on a regular fit, but it wouldn't be complete without adding some type of skirt to it. It actually made it look worse. He should have just worn the dress alone with no thong, no underwear, and just freeball it. Hey, fuck it. He says it makes him feel punk to dress feminine. Hey dog, you got it, you win. Post Malone, at this point, he should just consider himself a cross-dresser. He's making wearing dresses way too common. I'ma have to do a deep dive video on rock and roll and dresses, cause for some reason, they go hand in hand. There's just way too many times he wore dresses, and you can tell that he's very, very comfortable wearing them. He's worn a dress to the red carpet, He's worn a dress to the store, at concerts, casually hanging out, you name it, he has a dress for every occasion. He had paid a tribute to Kurt Cobain by doing a live concert performing his songs. And of course, he had to wear the iconic floor dress, the same kind Kid Cudi wore. One thing they need to stop doing is blaming it on a tribute to Kurt Cobain to wear a dress, because regardless, they're still gonna wear it and find another reason. But with Post Malone, it's so bad to the point his personal stylist launched a company that makes dresses for men. What? Huh. The agenda is real out here, yo. Mm -mm -mm. And another thing, let's be clear. These men hiding behind kilts, talking about Scottish culture, man, get the fuck out of here with that excuse. They ain't part of the culture, these men just need a reason to feel sexy pulling down their skirts, that's all. And lie to us, try to manipulate us as to why they're wearing a kilt. Diddy was over in Scotland performing and wore a kilt. I guess it helped him to perform and dance better on stage, but ask him, he was just participating in their culture. Kanye West wore a kilt from the JaVinci collection on stage performing and says one of the designers convinced him to wear it. And he says the day he wore the dress was when he officially crossed over into the fashion world. He said, I paid my dues. Okay, uh, I guess. Usher recently wore a kilt for the Louis Vuitton Paris Fashion Week, which some people were disappointed, but others already thought he was on the down low, allegedly. Tyrese recently wore a dress in Egypt at a festival. And the thing is, People keep saying that it's part of the culture in Egypt and Tyrese was only showing respect. But look at the other men around him who live there and are from the culture. You don't see them wearing dresses. Nope, just Tyrese. Russell Westbrook, Wiz Khalifa, 2 Chains are all part of the fake kilt lifestyle. 
And then we have men like CeeLo Green and Billy Porter taking it to the extreme. Yikes. Whole grown men wearing dresses while throwing the bouquet to the men. <laughs> Yo, times are getting very spooky, man. As with our biggest celebrities acting zesty. Drake, nail polish. NBA Youngboy, nail polish. All these dudes I just named in this video wearing dresses. Like, come on, dog. What are we doing? Even I Love McConan had to come out and say something. And he's gay. He responded to Kid Cudi wearing a dress by saying, This is gay. Period. Men don't need to wear dresses to express themselves. And this is coming from the one who started this gay shit. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is where we are and it's only going to get worse. Lord help me. Anyways, thanks for watching this video and I'm going to see you guys soon. Yeah.